Hey kid, you still playing that Super Nintendo? Look at what Sega Genesis has got. And Super Nintendo has got this. So what's the choice? Sega! Hey, you still don't own a Sega CD? What are you waiting for? Nintendo to make one? Uh, uh -huh. You have seen the games, right? Uh. Wrong answer, man. Show them. Whoa! Hey kids, strap yourself in for some action-packed racing. It's big rigs. 18 wheels of thunder, and we got trucks. Yeah, trucks, big rigs. Off-road traction, more power for non-stop driving action. Big rigs, over the road racing, above the road, under the road, who knows? Big rigs, never lose a race again. You're always winner with big rigs. Engines equipped with quantum phasing molecular mechanics to pass through solid objects so as not to interrupt the racing experience. Nothing stands in your way when you're big rigs. Rear spinning tires with warp drive velocity for interdimensional exploring. Leave the game behind and exceed the boundaries of existence. Big motherfucking rigs. Driving around in fucking trucks. Big motherfucking rigs. Big rigs. Enhance your game. Enhance your life, become a true CD32 master, and reach a whole new level of gaming excellence with this brand new add-on, sold at these fine retailers. You'd get 21 hits in one fantastic collection, including... And... This offer is not available in stores. Order today. Hey, you fucking kids! Get ready for a rumble in the jungle! Life of Black Tiger! You're a mean, badass, edgy as fuck Black Tiger! Kill half the wildlife population! Just hear it from Fred Fox! This ain't just a game. It's a way of life. Life of Black Tiger! Slap the fuck out of crocodiles, chickens, and wolves! Even bunnies! Send those fuckers into the stratosphere! Share your fate with the female tiger! Stack up elephants and fucking buffalo! Nothing says romance! Like, honey, I'm bringing you a stack of rhinoceroses! With hardcore tiger fucking! Life of Black Tiger! Earn points to play as a flock of chickens, a bunny, or a hunchback bear! You need a million something points! And if that ain't replay value, my name ain't Rex Viper Riggs! Life of Black Tiger! Only at Fuckoland! It's checks on steroids, illegal steroids, made from broken glass, rusty fucking nails, and whole grain rice. This cereal will start your day if it doesn't end your life. 
fortified with calcium from the bones of fallen angel wings. The only cereal eaten by both God and Satan. It's a straight kick to your muddy buddies. And brutal checks turns your milk red from your own blood pouring out of your fucking screaming mouth. 50 free hours of America Online included. Is it ready? Just a minute, chef. We don't have a fucking minute. The audience are waiting. Mix the peanut butter with the chocolate syrup. Gosh, I can digest and shit out of real shit faster than you can make that fucking shit. Here it is, chef. The fuck is that? Uh, it, it's, it's shit. Fucking right, it's shit. Pick it up. That's the shittiest shit I ever saw. And you, do you have your shit together? Can you handle that shit? How's this, chef? Fucking hell! That's not shit! Your shit! Your very existence is shit! You're a useless sack of worthless fucking shit! Leave the jacket and get out of my kitchen! Get the fuck out, you fucking fuck! Shit's kitchen, tonight at nine. You've read the book. You've seen the movies. You've played the video game. Now, see Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the game, the movie. Dr. Jekyll, man of science, on the brink of discovery. Yes? I'm a bit worried. You're spending too much time with these experiments. I'm on to something really special. I am. One day, everyone will want to separate the good and evil parts of their personality. Do whatever you want. Just don't forget the wedding. Uh, of course. I promise. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Dr. Jekyll get married? Maggie thinks he's better than the rest of us. Does he really think he's better than the rest of us? Fuck Jekyll! He came to me and said, Good morning. The nerve. I hope you have a great day. The nerve. Oh. And I was like, Who are you to tell me what to do? He's late already. He is a very slow walker. He walks with a cane, but he never touches the ground. Tell me about it. I just don't even know what he does. You don't even know him. How can you marry him? He's got eyeballs for testicles. Ah. Hello, my boy. What is that you've got there? The little laddie Billy Pons. Ah, yeah. He's my boy. He's a good boy. Oh. <laughs> I like him already. I won't rest until every man, woman, a child, oh. an insect is yeah. after him. Mm. Ah. Stop with the huckle and kill juggle! Kill the bastard! Yeah! Cinemassacre invites you to share the agony of a man who's about to face a dual challenge. In a world of demons, Mr. Hyde battles monsters with his secret weapon, the deadly Psycho Wave. Two worlds struggle for control. Which will triumph, good or evil, Jekyll or Hyde? I got you! I got you, you son of a bitch! Blazing from the pages of Robert Louis Stevenson, the classic tale of horror comes to vivid life. Oh, fix it! I'm just trying to go to my wedding! Kill Jekyll! Kill Jekyll! Kill Jekyll! Kill Jekyll! Kill Jekyll! Kill Jekyll!
Oh my god! I just found an old trailer for a lost film called Flying Fuckernauts vs. the Astro Bastards! And this would have been a phenomenon in the world of cinema. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. This is what life's all about. Now, I don't need to say anything else. Just sit back and watch. In the year two th In the year 2050- In the year nine million and nine! I have detected new life forms on this planet. Let us make contact. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Flying Fuckernauts versus the Astro Bastards. The Fuckernauts, intergalactic horn dogs, warriors of procreation, spreading their seed throughout the far reaches of space. The Astro Bastards, forsaken offsprings of the Fuckernauts, rebel Wrathchilds preparing for war. The conquest of our deadbeat dads must end! They fucked our ancestors, resulting in the rest of our generations getting fucked. Now we're so fucked up, it's time to have our revenge! Ah! Kill the Fuckernauts! In pursuit of the Fuckernauts, the Astro Bastards embark on a cosmic clusterfuck. Captain. Which course shall we take to intercept the Fuckernauts? I'll just follow the galactic positioning system. Yes, Captain. Make a right in two parsecs. It's taking us through an asteroid field. Why'd you trust that thing? Flying Fuckernauts versus the Astro Bastards! When science meets senselessness, the future becomes obsolete. Prepare the shields. Prepare full-on torpedo attack. Bing! Oh, you stupid fucking idiot! Why didn't you put the shields up when firing torpedoes? Get down! Ah! Flying Fuckernauts versus. We are receiving a signal from an oncoming vessel. They are requesting visual communication. Agree to it. <laughs> How do you like that visual communication? No negotiations! Fire! Yes, Captain. Software update version 80. Stand by. Another update. One. We just one. updated that one. thing last one. week! One. Flying Fuckernauts versus the Astro Bastards! We are sorry. We'd like to call a truce. May we beam aboard to bring you a gift? Except. Shit I ever took. The search for intelligent life may never end. Why won't this thing work? Flying Fuckernauts versus the Astro Bastards. See it with me. Monkey fuck and thunder fuckers. A triple fuck tuple feature. My favorite is monkey fuck. This city is fucked. And this person golfing looks like Mimmel the Elf. Now I have to explain. If you look on the United States map, Mimmel is an acronym for Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Spells Mimmel and looks like an elf, with Minnesota being the hat, Louisiana being the foot. And that's Mimmel playing golf. So cool. The following program contains disturbing material that may be inappropriate for younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised.
tonight on America's Most Mysterious. A series of murders near the northern Louisiana state line raises an unusual theory. Locals believe the victims were killed by a supernatural creature that roams the area. He lurks in the forest and he only emerges when he's summoned. And now the way to do that is that you have to travel a very specific route. If you look at the United States map and highlight Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana, it outlines a unique shape that some say resembles a human figure or an elf. Uh, Minnesota is the hat, the bulge right here on Iowa, that's the nose. Uh, Missouri is the belly, and uh, Louisiana is the foot. If you combine the state names into an acronym, it spells MIMO. Mimmel the Elf is, is a geographical icon, and uh, in school, my teacher taught me this as kind of like a cute way to learn, the, to remember all the names of the states, but what they don't teach you is that if you travel through the states in a direct path, Mimmel will appear and take your life. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting story. It's, you know, scary, and it makes the ladies laugh. Sightings of Mimmel date back to 1789, when a coach full of supplies traveling down the west side of the Mississippi River disappeared. Why else would these railroad workers be found mutilated just after laying down the tracks in the same direction? I mean, early surveyors noticed that people who were taking this north to south route, just they, they weren't surviving. They, they, they mapped out different routes along just to see how far you had to stray from this path in order to live. And, and by 1858, the shape of Mimmel was established. You know, a lot of people think that the states are divided by rivers and, and, and um, you know, arbitrary boundaries, but it, it's, it's not a coincidence. On March 3rd, 1993, Robert Jones captured this image on videotape. Is this a hoax? Or could it be the only known existing footage of Mimmel? I'm telling you. No lies, that's exactly what I saw, was an elf. The alleged sighting coincides with the murder of David Brown and Linda Thomas. Investigations conclude that they were dragged from the vehicle and stabbed to death at approximately 3.15 p.m., minutes before Robert says he recorded his tape. The miles on the odometer and the receipts found in the glove compartment suggest that they drove through all the minimal states. Could it be a coincidence? Or were they the victims of a magical serial killer? Well, who's going to drive this path to disprove it anyway? I mean, I would like to know that. You know, the way that my grandfather told it to me, no one's ever done it. No one's ever made this trek before. We're going to be the first people. This is legendary. On December 1st, 1998, newlyweds Richard and Patricia Miller departed Minnesota, heading southbound on the infamous path. It started out as a great journey, a great piece of uh, Americana, the road trip. I mean, is, is there anything better? Niagara Falls. We could have gone to Niagara Falls. That's romantic. I thought it would be a fantastic gift for her on our honeymoon, something that we could share, a story that we could have, a journey that we could go on for the rest of our lives. I thought we were going to go to Hawaii. Hawaii? We talked about going to Hawaii. I... Well, first off, I felt like those places were a little bit cliche. Mm -hmm. I've been to Hawaii. You've been to Hawaii? Yes. Congratulations. It's, it's terrible. There's, there, you know, hypodermic needles wash up, you know. Really? I've seen it. I'll forward you. I Googled it one time. I will forward you the article. It's You're basing this off of a Google search? What was your search? Like, I I searched hypodermic needles in Hawaii. You know, as we're, as we're moving along through the States, I, I, I really got more and more excited, and I thought that she would grasp onto something in it. This is our honeymoon. This is not like a bored Thursday night and the destination is Louisiana and that's it. The destination was Louisiana, but little did they know it would be her final destination. I would like to assume that you still have something up your sleeve. Can you believe it? We made it. We did it. <laughs> I gotta pee. As Patricia waited for his return, she contemplated if this would be the end of their relationship. But it just so happened to be the end of so much more. She's pulling my leg, she's trying to get back at me for whatever, and I turn and he's there. And, 
and he made eye contact, and, and it was... It was murder. That's the only thing certain. You know, he'd just taken from me the one thing, besides my grandfather, the one thing that I really cared about, the one thing in the world that I wanted to share the, the, this journey with. As investigations continue, Richard insists she had come face to face with the fluffy nightmare with bells. When we come back, cryptozoologists analyze the memble tape, and another sighting leaves police baffled when America's most mysterious continues. Introducing color map. Crispy corn! Free or right to the address tonight on the gut. International. Additionally, for just 14. Shake the pen. Delicious ramps. The A to clear. Let's work out. Check your paint the right way. Visit all season. Here, man. Because nobody can wants them. 